Hi guys, it's Barbara with Quartz Rose Tarot. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you're notified when I upload new content. Okay, so this reading is for Taurus. So let's get into the energy for Taurus and see what comes up. So Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Taurus. What's the energy for Taurus, please? Okay, wow. Okay, so this is either about your happiness, your celebrating emperor energy. Um, this is like you're you're the top dog here. This is Taurus and um, um, Aries energy for the emperor. So you're coming in as the emperor, and this is either celebrating or reconciling. So let me get one more card on that so we know what's up. This also could be a third party, but okay. Okay, so emperor... You're dealing with a third party betrayal, right? So let's get into the energy of what's going on with everybody else, but you're dealing with a third party betrayal. So Holy Spirit, angels, spirits and guides, clarity and guidance, give me the energy of all 12 signs around Taurus, starting with Aries. You're dealing with an Aries. I feel like you're seeing something from a different perspective. It could be about working with somebody, dealing with something at work, but seeing something differently about working and collaborating with somebody. If you're dealing with another Taurus, um, I feel like you're you're trying to master your emotions um, and get some clarity, or I feel like you're getting some clarity about a King of Cups, a Cancer, Pisces, or a Scorpio. You're going within, you're soul searching, but you're getting some clarity. The light's being shown to you on something. If you're dealing with a Gemini, um, I feel like somebody wants equal give and take in a new beginning in love. If you're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like somebody could be trying to either stand their ground with their Two of Cups or overcome some kind of obstacle with their Two of Cups. If you're dealing with, and by Two of Cups, I mean a partner, somebody who is your soulmate, somebody you have a deep connection with. If you're dealing with a uh, Leo. Leo, I feel like there, there's a heart, harsh truth being spoken. If somebody's very emotional, there's emotional communication about a harsh truth. If you're dealing with, if you're dealing with a Virgo, Virgo is waiting, they're yearning. If you're dealing with a Libra, so that's some loving energy. It's like that puppy and that kitty by the by the uh, fireplace, but this is somebody who really wants to be with you in a family situation. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, somebody's trying to get a victory by manipulation, trying to win at all costs, playing mind games, and they want a victory. So somebody's trying to win by mind games and uh, manipulation. I feel like almost like a very narcissistic energy here. That's how somebody wants to win with that attitude, with that victory. This is like strong arming somebody, like being very controlling, very manipulating. Um, if you're dealing with a Sagittarius, oh, I like that. You're dealing with a Sagittarius Taurus. Somebody is, uh, somebody is, their happiness and wish fulfillment is you. If you're dealing with if you're dealing with a Capricorn, um, I feel like they're arguing or fighting with an Aries, Leo, or a Sag. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, so somebody wants to move forward with somebody from their past. And if you're dealing with a Pisces, somebody is manifesting a lot of drama, a lot of strife, a lot of jealousy and competition, okay? So let's get into the reading. Under the bottom of the deck, there's about a truth. So a truth being spoken here. Somebody coming back around to speak a truth, Ace of Swords. But your energy is the emperor in a third-party betrayal. So let's get into this. Retrograde is, I think it's over on the 4th or the 3rd of February. So we are still in the middle of it. Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits and Guides, Clarity and Guidance for Taurus, please. What does Taurus need to know? So I feel like boy, you got some women on the board. 
You got some women on the board. You have a queen of cups. You could be working with a queen of cups. Your empress is not speaking to you. And the queen of swords has secrets. So the queen of swords, um, this person is very logical. They are very, um, there's no emotion in, in this person. This person uh, is very truthful, but, you know, they have the sword of truth in their hand, but they're very, uh, they calcul they're calculated. They think they're in their head a lot with the air signs, right? Empress energy, new beginnings, creation, but this person's not speaking. They're using their intuition. Now, you have the empress between two women here. You have something that's hidden with this queen, this this moon and the queen of swords being strategic about something that's hidden. And you have somebody who's in their emotions, very, it could be a Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, take it out, resonates with you. Um, but I feel like you may be working with somebody who's either very in their emotions or trying to master their emotions, or you have someone who's very strategic about something hidden. So got a lot going on, Taurus. You have a lot going on. Okay, so wish fulfillment is. Somebody's wish fulfillment is an option. Somebody's at a crossroads that needs to make a decision. There's two. There's two twos here. So there's there's more than there's more than one person that you're choosing from. You're at a crossroads about this decision to cut something out. You're waiting to offer your cup. But your wish is a is an option. Somebody's looking back at the past of the mistakes that were made. They're being patient. They're moving on because of a lot of drama, a lot of strife, a lot of jealousy, and a lot of competition, right? And somebody, there's a harsh truth here. There's a harsh truth where I feel like somebody was breadcrumbed with that six of pentacles and betrayed. Okay, I wasn't feeling equal give and take before I pulled this third card. I was feeling like this person feels that they were breadcrumbed. They weren't getting their equal share. And a harsh truth about this, this being breadcrumbed and betrayed is somebody's looking back at the past and moving on because of the drama, the competition. Under the bottom of the deck, somebody's very unhappy. They're discontent. Let's see what's going on. Well, you're coming in as the emperor. You have an empress on the board. But you're not speaking to this empress here. Let's find out what's going on. Who's doing what? So the third party betrayal could be you have betrayed the empress. That could be why they're not speaking, but let's see. Who's this Queen of Cups or Taurus? Okay, there's a tower moment with this Queen of Cups. So something that wasn't built on a solid foundation may crumble, right? With this Queen of Cups. And you're working on speaking a truth about this Queen of Cups. You have the Empress here um, relationship with this Empress. So you have the Hierophant, Taurus energy, right? And you have the Empress. So this is a relationship with the Empress. You need to speak the truth. There's a tower moment um, because you're working on speaking the truth. Um, this person's not speaking to you. They're using their intuition, right? Why? Because betrayal just popped out. So you betrayed this person. You betrayed the Empress. I was feeling that energy. I was feeling that energy for you, Taurus. Now, not all Tauruses, it can go in reverse, guys. Keep it, take it out, resonates with you. If you're not the emperor and you're the empress, then take it out, resonates. But the the a relationship with the empress, she's not talking because she's been betrayed. And queen of swords, king of cups. So I feel like you're kind of, um, you're trying to master your emotions where this queen of swords is concerned. Because what's hidden, what the secret is, is there was juggling. Now, I feel like this, this Queen of Swords, I feel like this Queen of Swords is the Empress. Like she is not going to take any BS here, right? I feel like this person knows who, their value, their worth, and you're trying to get it together emotionally, right? Because the truth, what was hidden, what was hidden here, the secret is there was juggling. So, and I feel like you could have been juggling the Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Um, I feel like with this wish fulfillment is an option, 
Queen of Swords wish fulfillment. Queen of Wands. Okay, so the Queen of Wands would be the third party in this case. What is the Queen of Swords wish fulfillment? Is a family situation. What is the option Queen of Wands working? Again, you work with this person. You work with this person because next to the Queen of Cups, you got the Eight of, of Pentacles. And then on top of the, the option, Queen of Wands. Now, if you're dealing with a, um, if you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sag, I just want you to know in this case, I feel like if you're dealing with an Aries Leo or Sag, they're coming in as Queen of Swords energy. They're not coming in as Queen of Wands energy. This is to me representing that this is an option. This is an option you possibly worked with, right? You may have worked with this person. Now, I want you to realize that just because you're coming in as a Queen of Wands here, um, if you're in Aries, Leo, or Sag, that's not your energy. That's not your energy. You're not the option. If you're the person that they're dealing with, you're the Empress, right? And your Empress energy would be the Queen of Swords. Um, the Queen of Wands energy is the Queen of Cups. It's the third party in a situation. You're at a crossroads about somebody from the past. And you're needing to make a head over heart decision to cut something out, but you have some regrets. And you're waiting. You're waiting, King of Pentacles. This is you, Taurus. You're waiting to offer your cup to the pre-empress. Okay? You're waiting to offer, offer your cup to your empress. Okay? Because I'm going to tell you something. I don't care who's cheating on what with who. If you're an empress and an emperor, you're meant to be together. If you're a king and a, and a queen, you're meant to be together. You can't have a king with an empress or a... Um, emperor with a queen and it be evenly yoked it just doesn't work that way you have to have somebody that is on your level uh, for it to actually work for you now it might work in the short term but it definitely won't work in the long term um, looking back at the past, somebody's moving forward because of the drama, the strife, the jealousy, the competition. Again, strife, jealousy, and competition. So somebody's waiting. They're waiting to reconcile. They're waiting to reconcile and have a victory, right? Um, this person wants to speak a harsh truth about breadcrumbing somebody and betraying them. They're manifesting their empress and they want to rest and recover from not speaking. They want to recover from not speaking. They can't stand not speaking to the empress, right? They want to reconcile. They definitely want to reconcile. So, uh, wow. Okay. Under the bottom of the deck, because somebody is trying to play mind games. You could have been dealing with that Scorpio because Scorpio wanted to win. They wanted a victory with winning at all costs playing mind games, right? So that Queen of Cups very well could have been a, um, a Scorpio in that energy. So take it out resonates with you guys, but I feel like <laughs> the emperor is waiting. He's waiting because of all of the drama that he's caused. Uh, to reconcile with this person. It's a pretty clean, it's a pretty clean read today, guys, for Taurus. I mean, it's a definitely a falling, everything's falling into place there. Okay, listening. Somebody needs to listen. Listen with their mouth closed, okay? This is about listening with your mouth closed. Don't listen to respond. Listen to hear, right? To understand. Uh, playfulness and change, right? I feel like this person really, really knows that they've got to come in strong. They got to change something. They got to be playful and, and they, they need to listen to what this person has to say. And I feel like the Empress, because, um, you know, she's just not going to put up with, you know, I will tell you that person will not be a second choice. They will not be a second choice.
Flexibility and transformation. You want something to change. You definitely want something to change where love is concerned, right? So flexibility, um, you need to be as flexible as possible. I'm feeling, <laughs> you know, this is maybe dating my age, making me be as old as I am. But for some reason, when I said being flexible in love, I, I got shown uh, Gumby and Pokey. That's from a long time ago, back when I was a kid. So um, like be flexible, okay? Be very flexible um, in order to have success, okay? Be very flexible with this person. I almost like tread water, tread water. So you, you, you have to prove yourself. Who, if Taurus, if you're the cheater, you have to prove yourself to your person. That, that's a fact. You, your, your actions and your words have to match. I feel you leaving me behind. You don't want to lose her. That's why you're waiting, but you don't want to lose her. You can't stand that you're not speak, speaking to this person. I look for you everywhere. I'm afraid to contact you. Yeah. You feel this person moving on because you're energetically connected and you're afraid they're going to move forward without you and, and you're afraid to contact them because of the betrayal. So guys, I'm going to take this to the extended and I'm going to get you some more clarity. So if this resonates with you, please leave me a comment down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and I'll see you over in Vimeo for the extended.